<laughs> yeah, no, it was extraordinary. I mean, I thought it'd be terribly boring, like most conference speeches, but it was just fabulous. <laughs> um, and I know a lot of people who are probably nicer than me felt very sorry for her. <laughs> but I thought it was very, very funny. <laughs> It's a bad sign when a cough sweet goes down better than you do. <laughs> <laughs> she coughed so much, it felt like she was going to start coughing insects. <laughs> like, like an actual horror film. But it's that moment when you're talking to someone who doesn't really believe what they're saying and they're saying, yes, I'm, uh, I'm really the person for the job. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, everything's going very... <coughs> <laughs> Coughing does not do well for female politicians. Her and Hillary Clinton, yeah. their colds have destroyed them. <laughs> well, Ian Duncan Smith used to cough a lot. Mm. Do you remember? He was another successful Tory leader. <laughs> uh... he, he, he never had it that bad, though. No, you don't think so? Just, no, it was a sort of much lower level cough-based problem. <laughs> to, to, to Theresa May took it to... I mean, she weaponised. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite incredible. I, felt, I can't believe you didn't feel any sympathy for her at all. Not even a scintilla. Um... Oh, dear. I did. <laughs> I think I'm coming across as a bad it was person. Awful. I only felt sorry for her because of Boris. I feel that she's... That, that was such a bad day that it was almost a win for Boris, and I feel that's the only... Like, so I feel like I hate him so much that you want her to have a better gig, you know? The, 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 Why don't she sack Boris? She can't. Oh. She can't, can she, sack Boris? Why? Well, because if, if she sacks him, he gets to walk away from Brexit while simultaneously being able to claim that if he'd stayed in the government, it all would have gone much better than it's clearly yeah. going to go. You know, she can't allow him the pleasure. It's like, you know, he's essentially an arsonist who wants to come back dressed as a fireman. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, Where's the fire? <laughs> 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 there was one of her... So, I mean, she's been accused of being robotic, so one of the uh, Conservative backbenchers today was making the rounds in the TV studio saying she's made of very strong metal, which I thought was... <laughs> <laughs> well, people say that at a certain point, the Prime Minister runs out of luck. Mm. Um, it just happens to you when everything's going wrong. Yeah. yeah. It's like the end. It's like the complete end. She's not so much as occupying the office of Prime Minister as haunting it. Um... <laughs> I mean, again, it's difficult to make up, but the first letter is, is F, so it's an F off. <laughs> <laughs> an F off. But, but f Fifteen per cent of respondents to a YouGov poll said that the speech had gone well. Fifteen, which is, there's no way that could just be the cabinet. Fifteen per cent of people. Fifteen per cent of people watched that and thought, yes, yeah, that's gone rather well. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes you wonder what, what it would take to lower that number from 15%. I mean, she could have stood there and melted like the witch at the end of The Wizard of Oz. And she said, 12% think it went rather well. <laughs> She's a puddle on the floor. 10% still, still think it's gone rather well. It's, it's 15%. Are you sure that isn't just members of the Labour Party? <laughs>